let's take a look at the code. We say, we say hash lang racket at the top. Down here, again, you may have difficulty reading it. It says determine language from source. Okay, determine language from source. Okay, we, lo we load our standard packages here. First thing we're going to do is define the world class. So a world is a new world percent. Uh, in Racket, the convention is that class names end with a percent sign. And the percent sign is silent. OK. So I say a world is, and here is, just like in our ordinary data definitions, we write down um, what you have to do to construct a new world. So a new world is new world heli, which is a helicopter, bombs, which is a list of bombs. Interpretation represents a world containing a helicopter and some bombs. So every class represents something, just like every struct represents something. And you need to have a purpose statement for every class. So how do we go about actually defining a class? So we should say define world as uh, class star object empty. For the moment, um, object and this uh, open close are magic incantations. Next, we have uh, the things that you need to create an object of this class. That is to say, uh, a heli and some bombs. So again, in the racket class system, what you write is init field heli and init field bombs. You can declare other kinds of fields, but this is all we'll have for the moment. Uh, now we have another line, which is, manda again, mandatory magic. And now we'll define the methods. So we're going to define an after tick method. What does the, the after tick method returns a world? By rights, I should have put a purpose statement here. OK, but later on, we'll see why I didn't do that. Define public after tick. Well, after a tick, we're going to have a new world with a new helicopter, which I get by sending the, by sending the helicopter the after tick message. This is how we do method calls in the racket class system. We use the word send. For bombs, well, the new set, the new list of bombs will be the thing I get by applying the function lambda bomb send bomb after tick to each bomb in bombs. Same story for after mouse event. What's the world look like on a, look like after a mouse event? Well, it's going to be a new world. What heli do we have? The heli that we get after the heli after the mouse event. So I say send heli after mouse event. And what do I do? Well, I send, I take each bomb in bombs. And I send each of those bombs the, the, meth, the message, or I invoke the method, either way, um, called after mouse event. And of course, I will pass along x, y, an event. And these, of course, are things that you are used to already because you already know how to deal with mouse events. Let's see, what about key events? Key events are simple. The only key event we are interested in is space. And on a space, you're supposed to drop a new bomb. So you're going to get a new world in which the helicopter is the same as the old helicopter, but the new list of bombs is just like the old list of bombs, except that I have thrown a new bomb on the front of the list. And everything else, any other key event, the world is unchanged. So I, I always have to return a world. So the world I return is this one. So observe the syntax for uh, method declarations. You say define public. And then the name of the method and the arguments to the method. OK, um, let's see. 
The last thing I've written here is to scene. I'm not sure I really like that name. It's scene to scene. Okay, and what to scene is going to do, it's going to ret return a scene like the given one, but with the world painted on it. So what do we do? Well, the first thing we do is we are going to add the helicopter to the scene. So I'm going to have another method in helicopter, also called to scene, which does the same sort of thing. So I am going to send the helicopter message to scene of scene zero. This is going to return a scene that is just like scene zero, except that the helicopter has been painted on it. So I'll call that scene with helicopter. And now what am I going to do? Well, I want to send each bomb a to scene message saying, go paint yourself. But what do I want to do? I want to paint each bomb in sequence. Right, so I'm going to start with scene, the scene with helicopter, and then I'll paint one bomb on it, and then I'll paint another bomb on that one, and then I'll paint another bomb on that scene, another, then another bomb on that scene. Right, so that is, that's a foldar. And if you don't believe me, if, that, if that's not obvious to you, go work it out. That's a uh, useful exercise for you. And that's all the methods in world.